Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And welcome to another episode of our Card Spotlight series in which I highlight a card that I think should see more play in Commander. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Rise of the Witch King. For two colors, one black and one green, it's a sorcery that says each player sacrifices a creature if you sacrifice a creature this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this at first glance maybe doesn't look that interesting, but it's a really powerful card and there's a few reasons why. The first is that this is very similar to those classic cards that say each player sacrifices a creature on ETP, such as Fleshbag Marauder. Of course it does cost one more mana than those and it is not a creature and it has one extra color. So if that was all it did, it wouldn't be very good at all, but it does a lot more than that. So if you sacrifice a creature with this you get to reanimate something from your graveyard that starts to look a lot better because then it's becoming a three for one your opponents are sacrificing three things you're sacrificing one so that would be a two for one but then since you're bringing something back it goes back to being a three for one that's some really solid value and a reanimation spell for four mana is pretty decent for commander these days particularly one which comes with downside for your opponents but that is not everything the really crucial part about this card that really makes it stand out is the fact that it says permanent card. It's not just creatures. That is a huge difference because permanents are pretty hard to recur overall in Commander. There's not many cards that put them straight back onto the battlefield. There are a lot of cards that bring permanents back to your hand, but that means that you need to pay full price for them. With this, you can just recur something that might be an important part of your game plan. So some strong things that you could recur with this are Portal to Phyrexia, for example, which would be absolutely insane and would presumably work very well with the deck that's looking to reanimate stuff from the graveyard. Another option for a great recurrable thing and something that gets targeted by removal a lot is the Great Henge. This usually gets killed very quickly early on as soon as you drop it. Imagine you dropping Great Henge very early, your opponent removes it and then you immediately get it back with this whilst messing with the board. That feels very very powerful because Great Henge is an incredibly expensive and impactful card and you're getting it back for just 4 mana. It doesn't even end there. If you're playing Assault deck for example or a five color deck and you have something like omniscience in your deck which is obviously a powerful card that is also going to attract removal very quickly this can reanimate omniscience which is again saving you so much mana so the sky is really the limits with this one you could bring back powerful planeswalkers enchantments artifacts creatures it gives a lot of flexibility and at only four mana whilst making your opponent sacrifice stuff as well it is a very good deal you do need to absolutely make sure that you have a creature in play when this resolves because otherwise it can be incredibly awkward so do be careful about playing it when you only have one creature and your opponents have open mana because they could blow you out by removing your creature in response and in that case you won't get the full effect for this card so make sure you have at least a couple creatures out when you play this if you think your opponents have removal but other than that this card is just incredibly strong and should see a lot of play in the commander format particularly since it does stuff that Golgari wants to be doing anyway so there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler what do you think about this card please let me know in the comment section below i read all comments and respond to all of them too and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click like or subscribe it really helps the channel and until next time take care Woo!